I hope everyone remembers this maze drawing scene from Inception. And if Christopher Nolan is able to create Inception 2.0, here is how he can make use of AI to make it more sci-fi relevant. In the last few videos, I've already spoken about OpenAI, Assistant API in detail. A similar implementation by Microsoft goes with the name of Autogen Studio. Autogen Studio allows us to build workflows, which further allows multiple agents to converse with each other to perform a particular task. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the installation steps in your own virtual environment, and then we'll fiddle around with some of the workflows. So to get started, I'll go to the command prompt. I'm inside the command prompt and I'll go to the root directory, which is C. Over here, I'll create a directory with the name of auto gen demo. This directory has been created, so I'll go ahead within this directory. The first thing I have to do is to create a virtual environment over where we can install Autogen Studio. To do that, and I'm going to name this virtual environment the demo environment. It's going to take a bit of a moment before this environment is being ready for us. The virtual environment has been created and as you can see if I go inside the folder structure I'll find this particular folder that I created. This is the demo environment which has been created and you'll find a bunch of files and folders within it. Now I need to activate that particular environment. To do that this is the name of the environment which has just been created. Within that environment there is a scripts folder and you just need to write down activate. We will get the confirmation that the environment has been activated by the demo, the name of the environment, and close within the small braces. Now, I need to set up the OpenAI API key because the agent that we are going to invoke is going to make use of that. To do that, we are going to set up OpenAI API key. This is an environment variable which we are going to set. Now, we need to install the Autogen Studio. To do that, we will go pip install. Autogen Studio. So Autogen Studio has been installed and one of the things that I would like to highlight here is the version of Python that I'm using. If you are using the most latest version, which is 3.12 something, Autogen Studio as of today does not work with it. Now, once the Autogen Studio has been installed, I'll go ahead and execute it. To do that, write down Autogen Studio UI because we want to make use of the UI and specify the port number. In my case, I'm going to set it 9999. We just got the confirmation that Autogen Studio is running on this particular port. So we'll copy it. We'll go to the browser and inside the new tab, we'll just go ahead and paste the URL. Enter. This is how the Autogen Studio by default view looks like. There are three tabs to begin with, build, playground and gallery. And we are going to cover each one of them. First, go to the build tab. Inside the build tabs, you can find there are skills, agents, and workflows which can be defined. Skills is the starting point. Skills are nothing more than Python functions which can be invoked by the agents. So I'll click on one of them just to show you that this is a complete Python function which is able to perform a particular task. And you can create as many skills as required be. Once you have defined a particular skill, you then need to define an agent. There are two agents which already exist for it. I'll show you, case you the example of primary assistant. Now the primary assistant, this is the name, a brief description of what the assistant does. A counter of how many times this assistant can execute before asking for intervention of the human. The details of how an assistant is going to be invoked, just like we specify in OpenAI Assistant API. The model which is being leveraged, these are the OpenAI model which can be leveraged or could be hugging face models. If the particular agent has to make use of any particular skill, we can specify that. We can have as many as required be. And so you can go ahead and create your own agent as well. You just need to provide a name and by default it comes up with just one of the models without any skills and you can add any skills if required be. And lastly the workflows. 
So workflow as the name suggests integrates multiple agents together to perform a particular task. So there are three workflows which are already existent. For example, visualization agent, which makes use of two agents. One is the user proxy, which just takes in the user input, passes it on to the receiver, which is the visualization assistant, and it performs the task. So without creating a custom workflow for now, we'll go ahead and try to fiddle around with the existing workflows. So I'm gonna go to the playground I'm going to create a new session and I'm going to make use of the, the visualization agent for now. And visualization agent behind the scene makes use of OpenAI API key and calls the one of the underlying LLM modules. So we'll just go ahead and execute it. Now there are a few samples which are already available. The test that we are going to do, create a maze that takes one minute to solve. Now, since I'm in the Windows environment and I know the Python code which is going to be written on the fly is only compatible with Linux based upon my test, I'm going to give it the particular instruction to use the libraries which are compatible with Windows. Not only that, I would want the maze to be created and stored in one of the files. And execute. This code is being executed within my virtual machine. And one of the things that I've found as compared to OpenAI Assistant API, over here, it will go through the complete implementation or execution and after which it's gonna render us the results. So if you want to see what's happening behind the scene, you can switch back to command prompt. And over here, you'll see that there is a Python code which is being created on the fly. The Artigen Studio will try to execute it. If it will fail, it will try to tweak the code unless it is able to solve the problem. So we'll give it a bit of time before that image is being created for us. Now the execution is complete. And if we scroll up, so this is the input that we provided. The maze has been created. And how did it do that? Let's go to the terminal. So the first thing which happened was that we gave it an instruction. The user proxy relays the particular message, which is my input, to the visualization assistant. And visualization assistant in response to that write downs the code similar to how you see in OpenAI. The maze has successfully been generated and saved as maze.png, but we will not be able to see that maze. It's still showing us loading. And the code which was used to create that maze is also available to us. And so to find out that maze, I'll go back to the folder structure inside my virtual environment and over here i'll just type in maze dot whatever and the maze has been created so i'll just go ahead and double click it okay so this is the maze which is being created by autogen studio using python code and open ai libraries behind the scene go ahead give it a shot see if it takes one minute to solve so hopefully when the inception 2 is being created we will see the use of OpenAI in that. Hope you like the quick demonstration of Autogen Studio and the capabilities that it offers. Thank you.